Tigers tough, the Tigers took on the Basingstoke Bison on Sunday. The Bison just two places above the Tigers in the league table were hoping to get themselves two points in a similar fashion to what they did in their last encounter. The Tigers, very short down on numbers, missing out on Andy McKinney who left the club for Hull Stingrays in the Elite League earlier on in the week. Yuri Senko was injured, leaving just four defencemen and also with missing out Adam Taylor, Venus and Eaton. The Tigers were looking very short indeed. The first period seemed to be owned more by the Tigers. Keeping themselves lots of good offence with the base up Bison mainly trying to get their chances on the break. It was the Tigers that were able to break the deadlock. Joe Henry having a shot on goal with Josh Bruce eager to pick up the rebound, taking it to 1-0. Basingstoke did come close with a couple of chances, but it, the period was mainly just owned by the Tigers, keeping themselves camped over in the Basingstoke's area, taking a nice array of shots and passing the puck around well. And what about this for Vision? Tiger's second goal, set up by this pass from Luke Brittle straight between the legs of the Basingstoke defence. Scott McKenzie, clinical finishing as always, taking it to 2-0 for the Tigers. Very impressive display by the depleted side of the Tigers. First period finished 2-0. With the second period getting underway, based up Bison got themselves much more of a steady foothold. Taking the Tigers a lot more and a good end-to-end -end start. But it was the Czechoslovakian Daniel Volrab who was able to get the go-ahead goal for the Basingstoke Bison, putting them on the score sheet and bringing the game within just one. There's a bit of a role reversal to what was happening in the first period. This time, Ned, Basingstoke Bison get themselves much more established down in the Tigers end and it was the Tigers that were trying to get themselves back into it on the break. Bison coming close a number of times. Declan Ryan making some scrambled saves.
be the end of the second. Tough Tigers 2, based at Bison 1. With the Tigers tiring, it was all to play for in the third period. As always, we have Tough Tigers against Basingstoke. There was always going to be a couple of incidents, and in the third period, this hit from behind on Josh Bruce took him down, but thankfully he was okay. With the tired legs and the hits coming in, based on both and were able to get themselves a second goal and draw the game up level. And shortly after that second goal, there was again another incident. Ryan Selwood taking this hit down and then getting hit from behind causing a big ruckus, very nearly getting out into a fight. Thankfully both players were able to leave the ice of their own accord though. And as the decision fell to the referees, it was deemed that the Tigers were not to receive a penalty and it was to be two minutes against Bayside Bison giving the Tigers a power play. Giving them the opportune moment to try and get themselves that third goal. But it just didn't seem to be right for the Tigers. The puck from this shot, rebound off the skate, right into Scott McKenzie's face, taking him down. Which meant that he did leave the ice for a short period of time, but he did return back showing true heart and spirit. And it looked like it was going to be the same as several of the games that have gone before with the Tigers taking it into overtime, but this very scrappy goal with just a minute to go in the game. Giving Bain Stoke the win and the two points. Final score, Telford Tigers 2, Bain Stoke Bison 3. And so with all of that, this is now as the English Premier Ice Hockey League table stands at the end of the weekend. Slower first on 24 points with Sheffield second. Guildford have leaped up into third place above Milton Keynes now after their results. Manchester in fifth place, tied for points with Swindon, both on 18. Basingstoke are in seventh, it's still in exactly the same spots there despite their wins over the weekend with Bracknell, Telford and Peterborough down at the bottom.